I'm told that this is one of the largest and best motorcycle museums in the world. Let's go check it out. I'm not even inside yet, I just got my ticket and already It's like a track that's going around. They've got vintage cars upon vintage cars. This is crazy. And then they've got motorcycles. They're stacked in here like toys. Can you believe it? This place is unbelievable. Look at this, look at. There's a tree of motorcycles. Anytime there's something in, in golf livery, I'm automatically like a magnet. I just spoke to a curator here and they said there's over a thousand motorcycles on display, several hundred cars. Those are all Formula One cars. A whole huge long line of outboard motors. There's that yellow one right here, that's a Honda Ruckus like a scooter. That's a detailed collection if you have a Honda Ruckus. <laughs> That's a brand new Honda Navi right there. What's this? It's on top of the elevator. Just on the elevator, no big deal. This is nuts. <laughs> this is crazy. Long Haul Paul. If you haven't heard of your Long Haul Paul, look this up on YouTube. That's, that's his bike. You can see this bike travel the world. Don't touch, but I could touch. It was about five or six years ago, I was at a patient event and I heard a doctor say, a cure for MS was a million miles away. And it got me thinking, a million miles? Well, it's far, but it's possible. And that's when I decided to document riding a motorcycle one million miles for MS. This is amazing. My name is Paul Pelland. I go by Long Haul Paul. I travel the country as a patient advocate, speaking to groups that are affected by multiple sclerosis. Hopefully trying to inspire them to find something that they love to do in life and to make it more important than their disease. What happens in Alaska stays in Alaska. It's probably a good thing. You know, one thing that's cool here is that it doesn't seem to be any real rhyme or reason to the mix of brands and styles. Things are roughly organized, like here's a military section and there's quite a few military bikes. 137 bikes would be cool. That'd be pretty impressive. But 137 manufacturers, it just goes on and on and on and on. It's something else. This is cool. If you're in this area, you gotta check this out. <laughs> just happened. I honestly can't even absorb everything I just saw. Got my sticker and t-shirt and I got all kinds of memories now. Think about how many machines in there were meticulously restored and preserved for us to enjoy. It's pretty awesome. But anyway, yeah, highly recommend the Barber Motorsports Museum. We'll see you soon. <laughs>